Hello and welcome to my channel. It's Eva from Bohemian Crafting and today I'm coming to share with you something totally different but I hope it will be great inspiration for those who are making junk journals because I'm gonna be using uh, junk and I will create packaging. Uh, I will create packaging for my Etsy selling. Uh, recently I made few packs kind of like DIY packs for junk journal makers. I added uh, into these packs some uh, washi tapes, dies, stamps, which I'm not using. And I think it's so a shame that they are sitting in the drawer. I added their printed papers for uh, creating journal. I added their pre-made journal cover. Also kind of like folded pages in the base for journal pocket pages some die cuts, tags and pre-made pockets. So it was a mix of all kind of things which I think journal maker can use and uh, I do like to create uh, personalized packaging. Always when I'm selling some uh, item I'm trying to wrap it some interesting way. So today I'm coming to share with you a few ideas. Mostly I am always inspired by Pinterest so you can find some similar ideas on Pinterest. There is a lot of ideas you can find in there so go to have a look if you are interested. Uh, type Etsy item selling packaging or something like that and it will show you so many handmade packaging. So here you can see my first uh, first pocket which I have created from an old book page and cheesecloth. I just glued old book page and cheesecloth together then I cut it strip uh, which will be big enough to hold my die cuts. Uh, I did fold it into kind of like pre-fold it in the pocket and then I used my sewing machine and I sewn first fold uh, which will create the pocket and then uh, I actually sewn all around uh, when I folded that paper so I sewn all around and I did create that pocket. Uh, I did both last year it's hand embossing machine for my logo for Bohemian Crafting. So I did use it here and as you can see it makes a really beautiful embossed effect and then I decided I will hang there also signature letters of the of the customer so it will be something what my customer hopefully will like uh, those uh, letters I am making from clay so these are personalized handmade um, kind of like letters or key rings and this was my first pocket very simple way uh, from scraps and from junk I have created my first pocket then I decided I will create something for stamps and dies something what will be strong enough to hold these and it will be interesting to have a look I do love to create from uh, old book pages and for project like this all old, old book pages are perfect so I did measure the biggest pieces from my dies and stamps uh, I found that I need the base uh, page I need in the size seven and a half by nine and three quarter something like that so I took one of these uh, book pages and I cut it into that size it was good that I took really large book pages and I had a chance to make it in this size then I took another two book pages and I cut them in the kind of like how tall uh, my packaging will be that was those nine and three quarters so I cut those two book pages into that size and I scored them on one long side I scored them half inch and one inch with this I have created uh, half inch kind of like spine of my future box then I decided I will uh, shape these two book pages into kind of like uh, envelope flap you will see that I cut it sides opposite sides of my scored already scored sides I cut it those opposite sides into the shape of envelope flap 
and I will have one for the left side and one for the right side of my future kind of like packaging shape. Then I took another book page and uh, I scored this book page. This will be uh, top flap. And I scored this book page at two and then two and half inch. So again, I did create it kind of like half inch uh, spine or yeah, half inch spine. Then I wanted to create uh, um, again in the shape of envelope at the end of this piece of book page my explanation will be a little bit confusing but hopefully in the end it will make sense so i wanted to create that end of this book page kind of like in the shape of envelope flap that's why i did folded end of this book page uh, uh, in those triangles corner triangles and here you saw how it will looks in the end then i took last book page i had five book pages by the way at the start so i took that fifth book page i scored that at the two inches and i glued that scored part those two inches with that i reinforce this end of that book page and the opposite side that opposite side i did scored two and two and half again again i did created that half inch gap once i had all my book pages scored i started to put them together so i started with that first one seven point uh, seven and half inches by nine and nine and three quarters that was the base of all this composition and on that uh, i glued one of these enveloped uh, envelope envelope flap shaped sides uh, i'm using double-sided tape because i'm thinking with this uh, it's the best it's quick and it doesn't soak through it doesn't leak through it doesn't make my book page wet and crinkly so i'm using double-sided tape and with the same uh, tape I did glued also that opposite flap to that base page it's really very easy just gluing these two flaps on the opposite sides then I took uh, this the actually last which I did uh, scored as a last And again, uh, I'm using double-sided tape. And here I just had to pay attention, do not go over folds. Just make sure that I'm putting this piece between those folds. And then I took that last uh, book page, which I scored before. And again, using by, by using scored tape, I did glue this to last side of that base page with this i have created my very large kind of like envelope template or box template and because it was just from book page i decided to reinforce it i took uh, self-adhesive wallpaper and i did glue it from one side uh, i have to say it looks amazing it feels amazing and i really like it i did use my sewing machine and i did sew it all around of the edge uh, of the edges and on one that long flap i added a grumet uh, to make sure that i will have uh, some uh, some uh, loop where i can add uh, some string or trim which will hold all this closed yeah here you can see how it will looks once it's closed then i found uh, in my stuff uh, uh, it's called fake suede if i do remember that right so i took quite long piece of this fake suede I 
I threaded it through to that grommet and I did fix it. Those ends uh, I fixed with brats. I just poked the hole and fixed that uh, fake suede with the brats. And that was all my fixing with this. It was very easy to do. Then I wrapped that fake suede around this packaging and I made knot in the back of this packaging just to hold it all together. And I really like how this turns out. It's made just from an old uh, self-adhesive envelope and book pages and it looks really cute. It's very beautiful, especially if you can uh, feel it in your hand. Uh, very next packaging which I made, it was for a bunch of scraps, bunch of scrap papers and I decided that I'm gonna be using envelope. Uh, I found in my stuff a nice trim embossing folder which makes beautiful kind of like a lace, uh, lace embossing. With this embossing folder I did embossed flap of this envelope and that was actually all what I decided to do on this packaging when it comes uh, about sewing, uh, distressing or, or stamping. So this was preparing the base and then I decided to create kind of like a belly band around that and that was the part where I wanted to be a little bit more creative. So from an old scrap of paper I created belly band around all these envelopes with my uh, scraps it was from very long uh, piece of paper so i glued the leftovers of that paper together on one side i have created kind of like extension uh, strong extension and it was perfect base for creating a tag to create a tag i had to slide it off from my packaging so i slide all this composition down from my packaging fold it again everything just to make sure uh, i will understand where I should cut uh, this strip of paper into tuck shape. Then I folded it on half and I cut it the part which I glued with a glue before. So I cut their uh, triangles on the sides and with this cutting I made shape uh, tuck shape on that glued side, not on the part which was wrapped around those envelopes but on that glued uh, glued side you will see that in the end when i will slide this back uh, to those envelopes it will make better sense what i'm trying to explain so then i took stamps i do believe these are sample stamps um dates of the past i think and i mix them with the tim holtz stamps and i really like the look of all that stamping i have to say with this simple and easy stamping uh it, it's perfect relax really perfect relax and i'm always so happy that i do have all my supplies which are helping me to create something like this then i took again my hand embossing uh not machine what is it <laughs> hand embossing embossing something and i embossed that tag <laughs> it's hard to explain and uh, because i do love uh, that vintage style i took uh, one of the spectrum noir embossing fo uh, embossing um, no sorry distressing uh, distressing inks this was twilight gray and I did distress all the edges. Once I had distressed all those edges, I decided to add there also eyelets. I love the look of metal on my projects. And even when is it packaging, uh, because it's from me, it, it should have something what I do like. So uh, I decided to add there eyelets and do some kind of beautiful uh, threading of the trim again. And this is not my idea. This again, I saw this threading of the the trim i saw on pinterest on some old tags so uh, i poked three holes and i added there those eyelets and one larger grommet as you can see here and once i had uh, poked and fixed all these 
I took a uh, string, white string, and I uh, threaded it through to, all, to those eyelets. First to those uh, two eyelets on those sides, and then I put them together and I thread them through to that bigger grommet on the top. Then I made one larger knot just to make sure it will don't slide out the trim or that thread. And I slide all this belly band back on my envelopes. And I had another packaging done. And I really like how it looks like how it looks this one. Very next, uh, I took a bunch of prepared envelopes and pockets, and I took one baking paper. I folded around my envelopes and pockets, and I did fold it a little bit bigger than that bunch or wider then that bunch of these pockets just to make sure that I can use my sewing machine and I can sew this because uh, I don't have a glue which will hold really well this baking paper it's glossy coated it's kind of like wax coated so my glues are not perfect to hold all this that's why I uh, made all folding bigger than it's my bunch of these uh, envelopes just to make sure I can use that sewing machine so once I had folded uh, that baking paper in the width then I took that bunch of envelopes and I measured how tall my pocket should be I folded that baking paper in that size and then uh, I cut it off one half of that baking paper that will be entry to my pocket and that longer uh, piece, which I left on my baking paper, that will be flap. Then I took my sewing machine and I did sew it all around with that sewing. I have created pocket, which will hold this bunch of envelopes. Then I tried, obviously, if I didn't make a mistake and if I can still fit everything inside. And because it was kind of like plain, I decided to go uh, for some stamping. I used Tim Holtz stamps. And uh, I mixed that stamping with my handwriting. And then I fix uh, with my handwriting. I, for that handwriting, I did use Sharpie because Sharpie uh, holds really well. From black cardstock, I cut it one circle, which I'm going to be using like a reinforcing circle. And uh, I place it uh, in the grommet. And with that grommet, I place it into the hole I created on this glossine bag or this baking bag, uh, which I created. And with this... I made a really beautiful decoration under that grommet. I really like the look of, of that eyelet or that grommet with that black cardstock underneath. Then I took that fake suede, I uh, threaded through to that grommet. And as uh, another decoration, I took that, uh, that another a letter I have created right from the start for my customer. And I fix it with this uh, ball chain. like cute decoration that's another packaging which i have created really easy way then uh, for pictures for old photos which i had for this uh, for this kit i took uh, an old envelope or used envelope this was already glued envelope i'm not sure for which uh, project i wanted to use it it was already glued so i had to unglue it I folded that envelope in the size which will be perfect as a pocket for my uh, pictures and I tried to cut that shorter side, kind of cut in it and cut off just half of that envelope. You need to watch what I'm doing because my explanation will don't make sense. So just watch what I'm doing. Um, 
it will make sense in the end again. I ripped off what I didn't need and then uh, with this ripping off those sides I had created flap for my future pocket and I have created pocket from that envelope. I did use the circle punch to punch the kind of like notch and then I took old book page and I rip that book page in the size which can fit into that envelope i'm gonna be using this book page for reinforcing my envelope and for decorating that envelope from inside i did glued that book page into my envelope then fold it over the pocket and because that book page was longer than the flap of that envelope, I did fold that book page a little bit up back to that envelope. So as you can see, I did fold it envelope back and forth, back and forth. I did glue that, uh, not envelope, I did fold that book page a few times just to make sure it fits with my envelope. With that all folding and gluing, I have created flap of all this pocket and because it was quite wide and because I felt uh, like I want to make this really grungy I did use uh, alcohol ink because it's very fast uh, to, to color anything with this brownie alcohol ink first I decorated or colored my envelope with that alcohol ink and then the edges I distressed with black ink. Then I used a few stamps and I did all kind of stamping, very simple stamping. I used one stamp from La Blanche, those clocks, which I really like. They are very decorative. And that was another very simple packaging for this composition. And I have to say that I really did enjoy it, especially that coloring to grungy style. And I was left with a bunch of uh, tags. And for that, I decided to go like really very easy. I took one parchment, uh, I took one tracing paper, which is very soft. And I decided to use this tracing paper to create uh, another packaging. Again, I'm using double-sided uh, tape for gluing this together because I don't want to make that paper wet, this double-sided tape. It's perfect for quick and easy gluing all together. So with this double-sided tape, I glued my tracing paper into kind of like sleeve. As you can see, uh, again, I folded the tracing paper a little bit bigger than was the bunch of my uh, tags. Just to make sure I can slide them inside. Then I folded the bottom of this sleeve to make a pocket. Uh, I did cut it sides of this fold. In the angle and then I have cut it off one of these folds because it will be just too much it's I don't need them both in there so I did cut it one side off and I did glued that uh, another side over the edge of my of this sleeve with that i have created bottom of my pocket then i slide all that bunch of tags and papers into this pocket i did close this uh, little bunch and i used string and i wrapped that string many times around this little packaging Uh, I pulled those ends of my string together 
And for closing this, I decided to go for uh, not wax, uh, wax technique or making wax stamp, but for hot glue. And I did use my uh, stamp, wax stamps. This is wax stamps, which I'm going to be using for this hot glue. Uh, it's my kind of like bohemian crafting wax stamp. It's not visible here yet. Uh, to make it visible, I'm going to be using that rich copper uh, wax, which is from Prima Marketing, and it's perfect, and it smells so nicely, this one. It's perfect for making uh, kind of like patinas on your, on your projects. So I'm using that red copper to make my seal wax a little bit more visible. And that's all what I would like to share today. These are my uh, packs for my customers, which I have created just to make it a little bit more interesting when uh, my customer will unpack what I'm sending. I hope that she will like it and I hope uh, this packaging will inspire her to create some beautiful journal and uh, that she will actually... Uh, enjoy to use all of them sending in in these packs and as i said uh, i did recently few of these packs and uh, i'm always uh, creating some kind of these packaging and i do believe even packaging like this can inspire uh, to create something interesting and uh, all these packaging can be actually used in uh, those junk journals as a pocket as an insert maybe even as a page so this is my sharing for today. I hope you did enjoy it and I hope you will try. I wish you all beautiful day. Take care of yourself and I will come back soon. Bye.